launch a special health series. We're looking specifically at fertility. You see a lot of women in their 40s having babies. In Hollywood, among your friends, you see it as well. But how old is too old? Only on Five Tonight, why what's good for your lifestyle may be bad for your baby. A lot of people that I grew up with had children like at 20, 21, and I was like, oh gosh, no. In her 20s and 30s, Nina Prelor was a focused career woman and traveler, having the time of her life. Kids didn't make sense, and she didn't want them to. I never really thought that I would ever be a mom because I had all these other things that I thought I was going to do. But then, two and a half years ago, she met her husband, Zeke. Things quickly changed, and soon, at 38 years old, she was on the mommy track. Certainly with American lifestyles, women are delaying pregnancy. Since 1980, the number of women giving birth after age 35 has tripled. After 40, quadrupled as more women climb the career ladder and take longer to find Mr. Right. Bombarded by images of glamorous 40-something celebrity moms like Nicole Kidman, Kelly Berry, Nancy Grace, who make it look easy. I think there's an assumption because so many celebrities get pregnant at a later age that it's easy to get pregnant past the age of 35 and it's not. Peak fertility is between 25 and 35 years old, but experts say most women don't know it. Most younger women, women in their 20s, say that they think their fertility is completely intact or that they have 100% or close to it success after age 40. The truth? At age 30, a healthy woman has about a 20% chance of getting pregnant. By the time she reaches 40, the odds drop another 5% every month. The main reason? Egg quality. A woman has 1 to 2 million eggs at birth, but by the time she hits 30, 90% of them are gone for good, and only 3% will still be there by her 40th birthday. And at 40, and, and at certainly at 45, there are very few good eggs remaining in the ovaries. Making older moms more at risk for infertility issues, difficult pregnancies and miscarriages, and babies with birth defects. Right now, more than 7 million American women deal with infertility, one in every eight couples. And you just feel like something's broken, like I'm broken. Nina and Zeke beat the very long odds. With the help of fertility treatments, they conceived little Isaiah Lee, born in November. Nina was 40 when she gave birth. I can't even describe how, how happy I am to have him. It was so tough to get there, but he is absolutely worth everything that I went through.